how to make yarn using dog fur. This is fiber from a Great Pyrenees dog. A Great Pyrenees will produce a whole lot of fiber to make into yarn. If you prefer it to not be white, you can dye the fiber, although if you would like to keep it the color of your dog, you don't need to dye it. Once your dyed fiber is dry, you are ready to card it. You can use these hand cards that you can get online. I got these used so that they were cheaper or you can get new ones. For this demonstration, I'm using undyed fiber, which is white, so it will be easier for you to see. So you just simply gently, without pulling too hard, add the fiber to the carders. Then with just the tips of the front, gently pull off some of that fiber. Once most of the fiber has been transferred to the other carder, line the two up and gently transfer onto one side. Okay, then switch hands and card again. Same process as before. Okay, again, transfer it over. This is enough carding for me for right now for this fiber. Um, you might want to do a few more passes, then you just kind of cradle it between the two until it's easy to remove. Then you roll it up into what is called a roll lag and from this you will spin. Spinning dog fur, I prefer to use my spinning wheel rather than a spindle. Um, I just simply find it easier but you may prefer to use a spindle because of course it's a lot cheaper. This is an Ashford Kiwi. It's a very inexpensive model. Mine costs something under $400, I don't remember exactly how much, but it's very affordable for a spinning wheel. So you simply take your roll lag, hold it around your leader yarn, which is passing through the orifice, and start spinning. Okay, so you'll just slowly see the twist start forming into your dog fur, then you start pulling back so that more twist is going further in and you just pull back as the twist enters the fiber. So I'm pulling the fibers thinner than they are and simply letting it go into onto the spindle. If you've spun a few bobbins full, you can ply the yarn. This is what I just spun a few minutes ago and this I did a few days ago. Um, I'm just simply going to do a two-ply yarn, so I have two bought bins full, but you could do a three-ply or a four-ply. So you simply take the two strands, hold them together against your leader yarn. This time you're going to be spinning in the opposite direction as when you spun the singles. Plying makes a stronger yarn than if you just had a single. It also balances the twists. Once you have your plied yarn, you'll want to make it into a pink so that you can wash it and set the twist. You can buy a Nitty Knotty, I got this online, they're pretty inexpensive, you can make one out of PVC, or you know, you can simply use your elbow or a book or the back of a chair or somebody's hands to wind a hank. Once you have your hank, you'll want to set the twist so that it doesn't curl up on itself anymore. So you simply wash it and let it hang to dry, and in the end you'll have a nice ball of yarn made out of a dog, which is very warm and very pretty and fuzzy.